Okay, it's day one. Man, I'm telling you what. This thing is so overbuilt, this frame is not even funny. I mean, it's not even funny. The amount of bolts, galvanized bolts that went into this is absolutely insane. I know the real story behind this deck. The guy who was originally building it wasn't going to go through all this. And an inspector, they pulled a permit to build this. And an inspector came by and basically busted his ass about how he was going to build it. So he made him do double headers all the way around. And then put all these damn cross bracings in here. Insane amount of cross bracings and blocking and just I mean look at the back look at all the bolts it's just absolutely insane what the inspector made him do because he told the inspector oh yeah I build plenty of decks in Wake County he goes well that's great in Raleigh great yeah but you're in, now you're in uh, Wake Forest and and this is the way we like things done so between the homeowner and the builder because of the inspector being so anal and catching the ass he made him build this thing to the point where it cost the homeowner another twelve hundred dollars to frame every fucking thing and you know what the worst part about this is code look at all the bracing man I left this side uh, still intact so I could walk up and down it easily but hey look you tell me if that ain't overkill is that overkill and that's on a 4x4. Four four. And this is only 30 inches off the ground. You don't have to do cross bracings or blocking until you get 50 inches off the ground. That's code. This is only 30 inches off the ground. And they made him do all that crap, man. I feel sorry for the builder. He said it was cold out here, too. He said that the day that this guy was building this, it was like 26 degrees for four days. And then he had to listen to the inspector talk all that crap. Make him put all these bracings. And I mean, this is overkill, bro. In fact, you know what was funny? The homeowner told me, he told the inspector, he said if a tornado came through or a hurricane came through, the trailer would fly away and the deck would stay put. It wouldn't go anywhere because he's so damn overbuilt. Unbelievable. You know, that's what happens when you deal with inspectors, man. Sun's already down uh, over the horizon, so I'm losing light real fast. And that's a pretty good load. Pretty good load. And I went ahead and hauled in with my uh, eight-foot bed. You drop the tailgate down. It creates another two foot. So that distance is uh, 10 feet. These are 16 footers. So six, basically six foot was hanging out the back. I had it all strapped down, you know, tie down a plastic wrap, red flags on the back, you know, the whole nine yards. I made sure it was safe. Because, you know, this this type of load here can bounce right out. And this is premium. The cost of this lumber right here, even with my military discount, is $375. But, yeah. Look at the moon. Already in the horizon. But, yeah. what Like I said, what the inspector made this builder do and the cost involved to get this bracing i mean look at the look at the triple bracing look at look at look at the br triple bracing that's on 30 inches i mean that is absolutely insane i know i've said that a lot but look 
there must be 60, 70, there must be 70 galvanized bolts. And, and, and joy savers. I mean, how ridiculous. I mean, I like overbuilt. Don't get me wrong. I like things overbuilt. But this is extreme. Absolutely extreme. They should have never had to go through this. And plus, to the cost, the cost of everything. Um, like I said, an extra an extra thousand dollars, all because the inspector wanted to, uh, you know, he caught a case of the case of the ass with the builder, you know, came out here and made his inspection and chastised chastised the hell out of the builder, and uh, they had to tear it all apart and then. It, do this all this bracing stuff and double header stuff and and blocking i mean you know holy shit excuse my french but you know what i'm saying i mean that's bullshit pure bullshit but that's what we deal with around here man some of these inspectors man they get a case of the ass and they'll they'll, they'll put they'll put it on you man they'll make they'll make you suffer they'll absolutely make you suffer Leave those comments. Have you ever ran into that situation where you had a, a knucklehead for an inspector to come on your job site and then basically uh, destroy your world? Let me know. Tom out of here.